Hey guys, this is Zayish from Technisha Studios and today I am going to be reviewing the new Nexus 7 2013 edition. So this is a successor to the most popular tablet of all time which is the Nexus 7 2012 edition. So let's get started. Now starting with, I am going to be talking about the things which I like about this tablet and the things which I don't like about this tablet. So the first thing is the form factor. Now this tablet fits very easily in the hand and is the best tablet according to me this version also around there. Now the screen size is 7.02 inches and the resolution is 1920 to 1200 pixels. Now it is a full HD display and those 120 pixels are actually occupied by these three buttons at the bottom of the screen. Now the form factor is amazing. The one handed use of the device uh, is phenomenal. You can use the device one handed and it's fit completely in one hand. Uh, also, I don't have such big hands. Still, I'm easy. Uh, it's very easy to use it in one hand. Uh, now, the next thing is the display of the device. The display is the best display in any tablet available in the market. This is a 1020p display which creates a PPI of 323, which is tremendous actually. This display is very bright. Now, there's no problem in sun glare or in the dark. It performs best. Now the next thing is the performance of the device. Now the device comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor which is clocked at 1.5 GHz. With it it also has 2 GB of RAM for your multitasking and this tablet performs very good. Uh, you can play any game smoothly in it. Now it also get Android 4.3 so you get OpenGL ES3 for your games. Uh, which is quite good. The graphics looks amazing. The gameplay is smooth enough to compare it to any of those devices that are in the market. I'm talking about those flagship devices and this device is not actually costly. Now next thing I'm going to talk about is the price. Now the price of this tablet is quite very low. Now the tablet is priced at $229 which is uh, a fair price actually uh, taking a look at the performance of the device. Now next thing I'm going to talk about is Google. It's Nexus, it's made by Google, uh, though uh, not it's made by Asus, it's contracted by Google. But still it's a Google device, you will get Android up updates for quite a long time. So that's a major thing. Now in the device itself you have Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Now the other thing which I like about the tablet are speakers actually. These are the stereo speakers. You have one, two, three. So this gives a sound that when you play a game or watch a movie, this gives a surrounding that the sound is emerging from the center or through front. Uh, now this is comparable to the HTC One Boom sound which is phenomenally very good. So these are the good points. Now let's talk about the bad points of the tablet itself. Now the first dislike of the tablet are the top and the bottom bezels. Now uh, they are enormously big. You can take a look at that much of the space is occupied by the top and the bottom bezel. Now they should have lowered it down as they have lowered down the side bezels which is which I like very much. Now the second one is you can see the Nexus logo is now uh, landscape oriented rather than portrait oriented. So they are saying that use a tablet in landscape mode but you know in landscape mode it is not that easy to use the tablet itself firstly the bezels are very much interrupting in using the tablet itself also the android ecosystem is not meant to be using in landscape mode you can see that the widgets and the icons are not laid very well now if it was to be iOS, iOS ha can be laid down rather portrait or landscape. It works fine in any orientation. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the battery itself. Now this device has a 3950 mAh battery uh, which looks good but it's not that good. And now I can use the tablet after 
continuous using up to 5 to 6 hours, not more than that. And that 5 to 6 hours including browsing, playing games and watching videos, listening to music, etc. And I use the tablet for a day in using all these activities and it lasted for about 6 to 6.5 hours. So this was the time duration of the battery. But still it's very low as compared to the iPad mini which is the competitor of this device. Now even the iPad has a bit of battery but we're not going to talk about that because that's bigger tablet. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the camera. So the back camera they have included, I don't think it's much of, much of use and I think they should have uh, lowered down the price to $119 to make it an under $200 price which was the form factor of the earlier Nexus 7. Now, they have included a 5 megapixel camera, still it's not that much of use. The camera is shit. It's absolutely shit. Whereas the front camera, the 1.2 megapixel camera is enough for video calling, but still I was expecting a 1.9 megapixel camera at the front and this should have removed the back camera. So that's another thing. Now the other thing I'm going to talk about is the build quality of the device is amazing. But still you can take a look, you have a plastic but button uh, to right of the device which are the volume rockers and the power button. Uh, the power button and the volume rockers are made up of very cheap plastic rather than ma making it of aluminium but I don't, don't think aluminium will match. Making it of a high grade plastic would uh, solve this problem. The buttons don't feel very good in hand and also I think the power button placement should be below the volume rocker so I would be it would be easier for me for one hand usage I as I don't have such big hands so these were the disadvantages or the dislikes of the new Nexus 7 now and overall you know my review is that this is still the best tablet around there rather than some of the disadvantages which are not that to fight the likes but still this is the best tablet around there so go and buy if you want to buy a tablet of any size this is the perfect size of 7 inches I have an iPad which is a 10 inch size and I don't, don't think I use it much after so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos tutorials reviews etc peace